Alright guys, we have made it to the end, the secret true end of Endus. and my purpose. There is another I must help along the same path. I want you to know that what happened isn't your fault. I will always love you and someday I hope you find what you're looking for. Send a message. successful. Wow. There has to be something else at the end of this. Because his dad didn't, as you guys saw throughout the thing, his dad didn't want Clay to join the assassins or, you know, whatever, like, job he was doing kind of thing, right? He wanted him to stay out of all that and, I guess, be in construction work and whatever. I did like that, you know, again, there could have been more, um, I think there could have been maybe some cutscenes, like, first person cutscenes, like what, you know, Clay would see kind of thing, um, I wish there was something like that, instead of, like, for example, the pictures with, um, Warren and Lucy, I wish those were actual cutscenes, or even if they were faded cutscenes, or black and white or something. As far as I know, these are the only two intro, outro, like, ending things. Like, I guess, if, like, even if you beat the game or not, that doesn't matter. Like, this will still be the same. Um, if it isn't, like, down the road, or like tomorrow or something if I look it up and apparently if it's a different thing then yeah or, or not. Like I like all the different like atmosphere, like the backgrounds and stuff. Like look at this, it's all the crazy clouds. When you look in Eagle Vision it's all the craziness. And then look you got all your like DNA strands or something going on. It was kind of weird how, um, like it would have been 16 talking with his subtitles, but there wasn't anything there when he was doing his email. That was weird. But, oh well. But then, 
16 was supposed to infiltrate, infiltrate Abstergo. Maybe Lucy felt jealous? Or something? I don't know, I wish there was more, but honestly, more backstory on her. Like, yeah, we know, th we know, um, that she betrayed us like that. She joined the Templars because she says that they care about people. And I guess maybe from her point of view, Will is all like, you know, he doesn't care, like, no emotion, you know, no nothing, like, no comfort, no anything like that. And, I don't know, well, in a way, even when, with Lucy's death, Will's just like, yeah, well, let's, you know, come on, we're, you know, we're moving on. But he didn't care. He didn't show emotion or anything. Until Sean, like, really, like, yelled at him for it. That's where Lucy's like, you know, oh, he's just using us in this, like, he's using us in this war. And I guess that's where she saw where Vidic said, um, like, something about, like, you know, loyalty. And, like, they, I can't remember what, what the thing said, but, uh. Like, we never forget loyalty, that kind of thing. And I guess that's the kind of praise and, um, I guess, comfort or caring that Lucy was looking for, maybe, that turned her like that. Or again, she could have totally been brainwashed or something, like Daniel Cross was, I don't know. They didn't say anything about that. But, uh, maybe that's what led her to it. Just like Desmond, he had enough and he escaped, he got out of there. Because Will was just like a slave driver, man. Maybe that's what happened. And if so, then that, that's a shame, man. And also, if so, Will should be ashamed of himself. Like, what an asshole. So even if we did get some answers, there's still a lot to be thought about. There's a lot more questions still, like now, that need answering, in my opinion. There's, there's still some, a lot of doodads and things they need to answer for. I don't know, maybe another, they might make another little single player DLC where it's like this, right? Like how we played through 16's memories and stuff, even if he didn't say anything himself. Um, honestly, that would be really cool if they could do something like this, but it's Lucy. And that way we can fully, you know, get to see what happened to her and understand you know, from her point of view and everything. Why she did what she did.
and also that's uh, disappointing. There was in the trailer for this, there was supposed to be a clip of Lucy. She's got her white shirt on, right, like from AC2, and she's got the blood spatter. And from what I could see, she's running out of the animus room, right? All you can see is the doors that open. And then 16 calls to her. And she's standing in the door where the, the light, the, the blue light's coming in. She stops. She slowly turns around, but she, her whole face, like everything's in blue, like you can't see her face or anything. And then, like the trailer just ends. That wasn't anywhere. That's pretty disappointing. Like, I know this was the main, the main focus of all this was 16, but, um, they could have shown a bit more for Lucy. But again, maybe that's a whole another thingy, what's it? That's what I want to look at right now. I want to see if those... Well, since I finished that, actually, I'll load up my finished file. Um... Oh, and then we'll see. God sake, it's cold down here, man. <coughs> the cats are sleeping beside me. Pippin's all curled up. He's got his head kind of upside down and and he's sleeping, kind of like in front, like beside him. And she's got one of her hind feet dug into his head, dug like dug into his ear. <laughs> oh, poor Wogbats. Ooh, did it give me the thing? Did it give me the, ooh. Oh, it unlocked all the thingies. What? Turkish assassin armor. Ooh. Oh, these are all skins. Armor of Brutus. All poopy. Altair's robes. Oh, like classic Altair again. Oh, sweet. Sweet. I don't know, like 16 it's Animus Island thingy looks different. Does it? Slightly. What? Oh. So maybe these will be DLC things in the future, because as you guys see, or saw from my like other videos, these are broken, and once you finish the game, they're repaired. So I don't know if Desmond himself will have stuff, you know, if they're planning on doing an extra thing like that, which that'd be cool. But uh, yeah, that was the whole Lost Archive DLC. And I'm glad I, I'm glad I just replayed the whole memories and like that, and uh, I didn't have to go through and find all the fragments and thingies again. I could just blast through and show you guys, you know, how to get from beginning to end of each memory. But yeah, I, I like that, and I hope they do some more, because those two are obviously empty, they need to be... There needs to be something there. So thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed um, that DLC as much as I did. And I will see you later when we can get back to the rest of the game. So thanks for watching.